The answer to that is that we know the most about aerobic exercise. It is exercise that increases your heart rate. We know the most about the positive effects of that. There's a little bit of evidence that strength training can also be positive, but there's not as much evidence there. How much do you have to do? It's somewhere between walking, which I should say walking alone will improve your mood as well, and you don't have to become a triathlete. It's going to be something like three times to four times a week, getting your aerobic activity up. But I will qualify that by saying that it really depends where you start from. It's not like if you have no activity at all that you suddenly have to increase to three times a week immediately to get those effects. Or if you already have a good exercise routine, you might have to increase that even more to get the maximum benefits. The other key question, what time of day is critical? Early morning, first thing in the morning exercise is beneficial because it is increasing all those neurotransmitters, all those growth factors at a time right before you need to use your brain to learn and remember. So contrast that with end of the day exercise. You can still benefit from that, but you're not required to use your brain, most of us, after we go home after a workout. So my recommendation is always to maximize the effects of exercise for your daily cognitive functions. Do it first thing in the morning.